This is absolutely Essendon, our match preview. The Bombers versus the Dogs. We go from the Cats to the Dogs. Such an important game. It's eighth against seventh. Uh, the Dogs coming off a tight loss in Sydney. Um, could have been even uh, in fifth position, I think. Um, and so uh, they're going to uh, they're smarting from that loss. Uh, the Dons hopefully felt the loss down at the uh, the Cattery, but this is a game with huge ramifications. And I suppose yes, I mean we call it our preview, but it's probably more an early music. Yeah, well, this is a midweek kind of uh, mm. before team selection, just getting warmed up, uh, so, as you know. But but we probably yeah. tend to sort of cover more in the multi, the ins and outs, our, our multi mania episode. So yeah. uh, it's kind of like a two-part build-up. Well, it is. I, and I think that's a good thing because this gives us a chance to sort of you know, move on from the previous weekend. And start to get uh, our head around. Really, yeah, looking forward to the big game. Uh, is it on a Friday night? This it week? is. My yeah, God, yeah. what is it? Are, are you excited about a Friday night uh, game? Not really, but, uh, <laughs> okay. you know. We, we, we would have been more excited if we had it done well, uh, done a bit better down at the Cattery. Uh, not necessarily won, would it be, but done better. Would it be but, fair to say people kind of take it a bit personally that we don't get Friday night games? Oh, I do. I know you. Oh, I worried. take it very What's personally. The big deal? I love a Friday night game. It's what a way to start. What the to weekend. go down to the Southern Cross Station and into the cold air and across to Marvel. You love that. It's uh, it's beautiful. Or do you uh, like it from your sofa? I love I love I love the Docklands. I love it more probably from my sofa uh, when it's Marvel. But that's but kind um, of like you're top of the class when you get the Friday night game. Yeah, that's kind of it, isn't it? Because it's like, it's showtime. Because even it's supporters. Right. It's supporters, and not necessarily Don support. It's everyone. It's just AFL supporters. You're in the watch shop window. Game. Yeah, it's right. the show. It's a ba ba ba. Da, be like ba, the uh, Dimmy's shop window of we're playing. I would have thought. Yeah, uh, possibly. Certainly it's not the DJ's shop window. Uh, yeah. So this Friday night, uh, we'll see. But who, yes. who have we got? The Bulldogs. We have. We've got the Bulldogs. Lord and, uh, help us. And we we the the. As I said before, the ramifications are huge so because of the other games. Why is that the case? Well, because of just the other games. What, what, what other the, games? The, the teams around us. Right. Are you going to elaborate? Sure. Let's start with the teams that are okay, around so us. Okay, so if we... Because hot on our heels... So let's, let's assuming we don't get up. Or, or are you saying this is why we must get up? God forbid, yes, we must okay. get up. I got okay. you. I got so you. So the Bulldog sits slightly above us. Okay. okay, so on percentage, marginally on percentage, one or two percentage points. Right. Um, so, so this the, is like one of those eight-point game type things, is it? Don't don't like to go to the cliches, but it really is. Yeah, okay. It really has. Uh, so they win value. their eight points so ahead of us. Let, let, let's is that look, right, or are they four points ahead of us? If they win their four points ahead okay, of us. Okay, so it's not an eight-point. We game. need a whiteboard. All right. Okay, yeah. let's talk about the Saints. I'll just be quiet. They're in our vicinity, and the Saints are playing North Melbourne. So one would argue that it looks likely that they will Gee, get I, the W. I tell you right? what, I don't think that's quite as uh, set in stone as you'd like to think. I mean, uh, St Kilda have not been impressive in the last few weeks. All right, weeks, well, right? let's hope so. I'm happy but to, again, I know North have been anything but I'm happy impressive. to buy into that thesis. Fair enough. But so also, let's say they're the favourite, yeah? Yes. Okay. Also in the vicinity yeah. is you've got Carlton. Now, they're still the half a game behind, but nevertheless, they've come back. Since oh, uh, since go we get them, away. For the love of God, <laughs> we really it just the death knell just uh, never. Happened, I thought we put it? them to sleep a no, few weeks. Yeah, back. yeah, no, it just didn't oh. happen. They're four on the trot, Damn and it. they're playing West Coast. Oh God! So if they took care of Port Adelaide by what almost fifty points, then uh, at Marvel, where Port Adelaide hadn't lost for eleven games, yeah, right. Uh, then that's a concern. Oh, it only gets worse. Um, Richmond are hovering. Oh. They play the Hawks. Another one I want to see the back of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, GWS that are also yeah. v- just behind us on one and a half percentage Who are they points. Playing? The Suns. What the hell's going on with this draw? Yeah. All of all because everyone kept going. How on come about, they get all the easy? Everyone teams? kept going on about our easy draw. Seriously, well, that was just a we was get Geelong a, down at just WXYZ Stadium and absolute, the Bulldogs. Absolute crock. All right, so, so we lose, we're stuffed. We could possibly reckon, drop down to what tenth on the ladder, tenth, eleventh, and just continue sliding. The Wall with Street a crash. Yes, it really is. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, well, let's get on with something a bit more positive. That's not a good way to start this program, what, what this have you episode. Got? All right, okay. All right, well, uh, what, what is positive? Well, we, we can only assume the ins and outs. Well, Do you want to start with... Tom Hawkins won't be playing for a start. So There's a positive. something to look forward to. Okay. Right? Brandon Zirk Thatcher will be able to come out of therapy this week. Right, yeah, but they have got Rory <laughs> Lobb probably. It just doesn't get in. better, does it? <laughs> Lobb. Who else? They've got a few big talk. I'm not, talk, so, I'm not so worried about Lobb. Nor, nor, yeah. Norton goes all right. Honest. And it's Waitman that always just has... He just is way... And I, I know I'm thinking about oh, that. Oh, well, don't forget J- Jamara Eugle Hagen as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he does well. Oh, they're big guys. Shines. He shines yeah. with us. But, yeah. but just... And I just, then Waitman, of course. Yeah, because, I mean, especially that elimination final of two years ago. Ah, that was just annoying. God, annoying. We've got to check it past, haven't we? Uh, when, you, when you think back, it's... They, I mean, it's not as compelling as the Geelong streak against us, but the Dogs, since about 2015, have done very well yeah. uh, against us. What about that game... Only two years ago, was two. it when they kicked twenty-one goals oh, in yeah, a row yeah. against us? In a row. Oh, right. Anyway, can we move on to something All like right. happy? Okay. Can we yes. go to a happy place? All right. Uh, so, you, so in terms of the ins, I don't know yeah. much about. I don't follow the Bulldogs closely, but sure, I, who does? I, I think uh, you know they're Bailey Smith, their their carrier of the luxurious mullet. Yeah, uh, will be will be possibly back in their team this week. He's yes. been a little out of form. Yeah, um, unfortunately, our luxurious mullet won't be there, Sammy. Uh, but Phillips still will, out. Phillips yep. most probably back in for us after his week off. Yeah, um, and uh, I'd like. We're, we'll be excited to see him back, won't we? He, he, I, I, like I mentioned before, he's almost become like the new Simon Madden. <laughs> and I was I was uh, reading somewhere he's actually ranked number two in the AFL Ruckman for hit-outs to advantage. Well, Can would, you believe that? I know you're not a big fan of the Ruckman <laughs> in the modern game, but that's an impressive statistic. It is, it is. Yeah. But he's going to be up against Tim English, who... He's is number one. Argu- arguably doing OK. So a- And built like Mount Everest, I might add. You know, he used to go, to, Mount, my, he used to, go to my school, Tim English. I, I yeah. wouldn't say Mount Everest. He's a big lad. He's 110 kilos. Maybe Kilimanjaro. Is um, he 110 kilos? Oh, I mean, on a casual sort of observer's point of view, he looks around 110. He right, might be 100. Okay. He's, he's more than 100. Yeah, okay. But uh, right. he's a very, very good ruckman. And, he is. Uh, that he is. Our boys are certainly going to have a challenge keeping him under control. Right. So from our side, any other notable ins do you anticipate? I uh, I, I know perhaps what I'd, uh, what I'd like to see. Um, what would that do, be? do you think? I think I'd, I'd, I'd like to see Voss for a bit of a just more options down in that forward line, so we're just not kicking to one pack yeah. every time. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, it would be lovely, and um, I would I'm hope to think that uh, he is in the um, the calculations this week. But are we just kidding ourselves again? Because we've said that about six weeks in a row. We, I mean, and yeah, it just never we keep trying. I mean, there's no question we haven't tried to get him in the side. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe some brown paper bags up to uh, the hangar might help. But oh, you think so? But there is, I think, no safer bet in football this week than uh, Sammy Wiedemann. Enjoying uh, enjoying a week off, right? Uh, okay. So if that happens, yeah, because that's because it's not a given. Um, but if that happens, who, who do you think? No, will, it is a given. Will, will come, who, who do you think will come in for him? Well, that's the thing. I'm saying so. Voss is a possibility there. Um, yeah, look, I mean, definitely Phillips is coming back in. So Wiedemann and Phillips is kind of like a, a straight swap for each other. Right. Uh, as as Wiedemann was helping out a little bit in the ruck yep. in the absence of Draper. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, whether Voss will come as well, that means, you know, perhaps one of those ruckmen would be superfluous. I don't know. Uh, but there is talk that Nick Cox might finally get in. Um, right. After uh, some, well, you know, reasonable performances in the VFL side. Yeah. He was taken off the ground in the uh, last quarter in the game on the weekend, the VFL game against Geelong, yeah. suggesting that maybe they're going to cotton wool him in preparation for uh, a game. He would, What would be his first game in the seniors this this year? So, right. Any chance they might sneak Z- Sartus in? Well, I mean, it's sliding Cox in and out of the team is... what. what I don't think there's room to fit another one in if there's already one cop. You're Look, playing this, with me. This is I, like a, I know what you're trying to do. It's like a bad it. episode of a low, a low. Um, now, there is an old reference. Sorry about that. But, yeah, uh, I mean, oh, you oh, have a go at me for old references. British sitcom from the 70s. The fact that you even watched that show says something about your oh, character. Mate, Renee was a classic. But Sartus in? Yeah, mm. I mean, he's just tearing it up in the VFL. He's mm. a 30-plus 30, 30 disposal machine 
minimum in the VFL. Mm. Um, uh, you know, I think he still has a lot of work to do, having watched a few of those games. But I'd be very excited if he could get a yeah. get a run. Uh, might, maybe, yeah. maybe. Uh, and the other one is possibly how Laverde pulls up after the Geelong game. Right, I think okay. by now we probably would have heard by now, this yeah. being Wednesday. Right. Um, but we haven't yet, have we? So no. maybe Laverde could be questionable for this week. And then in which case I think Baldwin would probably get the role as a direct kind of life. That'd be for, nice. Life for life That'd in. be nice. I'd, yep. uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see that. Yep. Um, so that's, so that's a few sort of speculative uh, It is. So they've got the selection. Bond. Yes, they, they do. The they've, got, they've got McRae. Bigger midfielders. They have. We made the point yeah. in our uh, ga- our review game against the Cats that mm. uh, our midfielders, who got tagged last week, let's face it, Parrish and Merritt, yeah. don't know if that'll happen again this week, but uh, we we, we want to see a better result there in the, in the midfield, or this just could be another game of just defending yeah. relentlessly. We well, don't want to be doing that again. They have got a very good midfield, and possibly one of the best in the competition, and uh, against bigger bodies. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Bont, uh, drafted in the same year as Zachy Merritt. Right. Put them side by side. Yep. It's like a garden gnome and Goliath. Yeah. You know, he's just a big man and a very powerful footballer. Yeah. Uh, you know, Libba is a, is a beast. He is. In the midfield. He is. Uh, McRae's a big guy. So they do have the physicality that, you know, again, we, t- we kind of lack. But mentally, I don't fear them. Right. I fear Geelong. I don't fear the Bulldogs. I know right. they've had the wood on us in recent years, but I reckon we can get them this week. That's my that's my honest feeling. Right. What okay. Now, you? well, is that your head or is that your heart? And I'm concerned that maybe it's your heart over your head. I mean, I would like to think that as well. Um, generally, when the Dons play this sort of game, when it's must win, backs against the wall, other teams lurking, the Dons... They don't deliver in the past. Right. That's that's yeah. the fact. Yeah. That's the fact. So I would love to think that that's changed. So you know, I want to I want to tip the Dons by uh, eighteen points. Are we going to tips already? No, but I just thought I'd. So, all right. So you t- put that t- out there. T- t- so you agree t- with me then? Well, yeah, but I, I I don't know. I feel like I'm forcing it. Oh, you know, no, but you I don't know, want to be forced. There's it. no question they're going to respond. I mean, they have to. And with the, you know, we mentioned at the the beginning of this this episode, the consequences of a loss, given that the teams around us have got pretty well, reasonably easy fixtures this week, we cannot afford to lose. And I know what you're saying. You know, when Essendon's confronted with that scenario, mm. they often have crawled back into their shell. Yeah. I think this is still a different Essendon team this yeah. year, despite the Geelong game. Yeah. Let's assume that was the the outlier, mm. and that the form that we've seen throughout the year against you know, well credentialed sides, where we've performed pretty well, yeah. uh, is is the form line that we should be focused on. And I suspect that they're going to uh, also. I agree with you. They're going to beat the Western Bulldogs. They have to beat the Western yeah. Bulldogs this week. I, I just hope it isn't one of those cases where they let this game slip, and then it's. Last round against Collingwood, they're not expected to win. Yeah. They win, and it's like, oh, we're just out of the eight. Oh, if only yeah. we'd, uh, we'd only beaten the Bulldogs and, you know, we'd yeah. be playing some finals and at least getting some finals experience. That's my fear. Well, yeah, or we beat the Bulldogs, but still it comes down to that last game against Collingwood, and I still think that's going to be the case. I suspect that last game against Collingwood, I mean, I know we're just crystal ball gazing at the moment. Yeah, but, sure, let's but, do it. But um, there's every chance they might be playing for a, you know, the second and the top two spots, yeah, which right. is important, and we yeah, may right. be playing for a finals place. So that could be a blockbuster at 330 on the Sunday afternoon, mm. and round twenty-four. Yeah, wow. So that would, uh, be, that would just. But be we've got massive. a bit to go before then. We right? do. Yeah. Yes, a lot of water to go under the bridge. That's okay. it for our early musings. That is uh, very the round, early. Yeah. Uh, the next game. So back on Friday, the, uh, the dogs. Yes, the final teams. Yes, yeah. when we do our multi mania, that's when we sort of really dig into a lot of the matchups or potential matchups. What was this? And the. Uh, this is kind of just a long-range forecast. Think of it as a long-range forecast, but by Friday, we really know what our We're only day, two days away. The, the, uh, the, 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 the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, but, the, but, 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 but we're still, we haven't got teams We'll announced. have to get that multi out pretty we, quickly then on we, a Friday, won't we? Because we're playing Friday night. For people to get down to the TAB and fill out the card. What are we going to do? Might have to do it on a Thursday. 
Oh, that's going to be tough. Yeah, we'll we, see anyway. I know you're all waiting with bated breath. We do have something on this Thursday, but uh, we yeah. might have to. Uh, all right, we'll do see it, how we uh, go. Do it late or something. All right. Anyway, <laughs> okay. do you want to sign off? I think. So uh, I, can get I think last we word should. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It yes. helps us a lot. And uh, and 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 put your comments in. What are you expecting? I want what to see. You, what are you really a lot expecting? Of comments, please. Yes. It's it's the only thing I read. Nowadays. We want to know if yeah. we're crazy or just full who of it. who answers, or both. who answers our comments? Is that Simon from production? Simon, he's busy. He's answering some comments. He's always busy. He is. Yeah. He never seems to respond. He does a lot of work. Not, and we don't even not pay once. the guy. Yeah, a lot of right. behind the scenes work. We're okay, waffling. that's it. We're out. See we're you done. Later. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.